why is growth so uncomfortable? Over a year ago, I talked to you about being uncomfortable during successful growth. Boy, have we been growing and changing since then, and even so, the last six months. With the pace of change right now, this feeling is being amplified several times over. Have you experienced this? I'm sure you have. So welcome to Sticky Memos for the Mind Sunday. I'm Yvonne McCoy, women's business strategist. I help women elegantly navigate their time and talents and align their business and professional life for maximum impact. What we're gonna talk about is something that you probably are going through right now. The fear and discomfort you're experiencing during growth is due to the push-pull in the change process. And one of the things I know is that change is very misunderstood. A successful change is not about beginning something new. For successful change, you have to end something to make room for that new beginning. And this can lead to a feeling of loss and to disorientation. But the part where people get sidetracked is between the endings and the beginnings. Okay. And that's because you have to quit something. And when that happens, it makes for chaos and unexpected consequences. And this is called the neutral zone, which is anything but neutral, because to me that implies that it's calm and still. I call it the push-pull. It's when you're trying to push through to something new, but you're being pulled back to the old way that you just end it. And when that happens, it makes you miserable. And one of the things that I do is I try to recognize that as a sign to the fact that I am, you know, doing something different. I tell myself I must be making a great change because otherwise, why would I be so miserable? So call me crazy, but I want you to enjoy your discomfort. It means that you're making progress. And the new way may be hard because you did the whole old way so long. So be a little bit gentle to yourself and think about who else this change is going to affect because you need to get them ready for it. Remember that it's going to affect other people as well and that's going to cause unexpected consequences. I had a client that when they reinforced the change, they got an unexpected employee outburst. It was unsettling and it also showed other issues that were at play. You can make this stage easier by just being a little bit more proactive. Remember to keep thinking about what you like about the new way and why you're doing it. And try to give yourself a speed bump that can keep you from reverting um, to the old way. This can be a signal for you and your team. Reinforcing that why is a good way to make the new way a priority. And don't expect to get it right the first time. It is normal to have rough starts. It's also part of a process and it takes practice. Expect to practice a lot. Sometimes it helps to have a team mantra like, are we miserable yet? If we're not, we're not changing enough. Let's have some fun, you know, some good chaos. If you're ready to be clear on the kind of life you wanna live, the impact you wanna have and the legacy you wanna have, take action now. Here's a tool that I have for you. Go to www.womenslifeimpactquiz.com. It only takes a few minutes and it can show you where you can make improvements in your life. So what are you waiting for? Make a difference, take action, grow your business, and vote. They're all important parts to having a great life. Talk to you next week.